क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव ऑफ आई टी जैम इकोनॉमिक्स टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन पेपर लेट सी वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज सी यू गिवेन अ फंक्शन एंड इट इज आस्किंग अबाउट कंटिन्यूटी डिफरेंशियबिलिटी एंड लिमिट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर वी अप्रोच दिस क्वेश्चन वी शुड नो फ्यू फॉर्मूलाज ऑफ कॉस एंड ऑफ साइन टू टेक दिस क्वेश्चन फॉरवर्ड so let me just give you those formulas first see cos a plus minus b is cos a cos b plus minus sin a sin b so if it is cos a plus b it is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b if it is cos a minus b it is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b similarly sin a plus minus b is sin a cos b plus minus cos a sin b so sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b sin a minus b is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b okay now let's talk about the function that we have So the numerator is cos pi by two plus mod x. So this will be cos pi by two, cos of mod x plus. This will be plus sine pi by two, sine mod x. So cos pi by two, cos ninety is zero, cos mod x plus. Sine pi by two is sine ninety is one sine mod x. So this gives you sine mod x. Okay. Now let me talk about sine pi by two minus mod x. So this will be sine a cos b minus cos a. Sin b. So sine ninety is one cos of mod x minus cos ninety is zero sine of mod x. This would be cos of mod x. Now, if we rewrite the function, the function will become sine mod x upon cos mod x. But sine by cos is tan. so my function actually given to me is just tan mod x because this is tan mod x this means that this is tan x this is tan x when x is greater than equal to 0 and this is tan of minus x when x is less than 0 which means that this is tan x For x greater than equal to zero and minus tan x, so tan of minus x is simply minus tan x for x less than zero. This is your function actually. So from the function that we had, we have simplified this function to this form. Now let's just go ahead and think about this a bit. What I will do is I will just plot tan x and tan minus x. So tan x. If I go ahead and I plot this function, this is how your function looks like. Okay. So let's just insert this. This is how. tan x looks like now if you notice 
द डोमेन गिवन टू यू इज माइनस पाई बाय टू टू पाई बाय टू सो माइनस पाई बाय टू इज हियर एंड पाई बाय टू इज हियर सो टैन एक्स इज दिस यू नो दिस इज माय टैन एक्स दिस okay now we also want to go ahead and plot minus tan x right because my function takes two parts so if i go ahead and plot minus tan x it would be the reverse right so let's go ahead and make it a 2d diagram and let me insert this on the page as well so my figure would be this okay this would be my diagram that i would have again if i go ahead and i take this part minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 my function is this this is my function minus tan x if i and you know if i look at tan x this is my function but tan x is only when mod x is greater than you know mod x when x is greater than or equal to 0 then i have tan x so ideally if i make tan x over and above this something like this then the part of the function that i will be considering will be this negative side this one and this would be my positive side so ultimately the function that you will be you know this function when i go ahead and i draw this function this function will look like this this is zero this is minus pi by 2 this is pi by 2 So the function that we are looking at is like this. It has a king here, just like the basic mod function that we draw. This is my mod function, right? So my mod function is basically x for x greater than equal to zero, and it is minus x for x less than zero. So you know. this is the value mod you know my y takes the value equal to x so it is a 45 degree line here and y takes the value negative of x so it is a 45 degree line here but this function here at x equal to 0 is just one value any mod function any is continuous throughout but at this this dot at x is equal to 0 it's not differentiable any any function which has this uh kinkiness it is not differentiable so even this function which is having this kinkiness which joins the two functions together add x is equal to 0 this becomes non differentiable obviously it is continuous but it is not differentiable is it fine so now let's go back to the parts that it is asking first of all f is not continuous at 0 is wrong it is continuous any function is continuous when limit x tends to 0 minus is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus is equal to limit x tends to 0 at x is equal to 0 is equal to the value of the function you can simply say at x is equal to 0 so when i put the value of function so this is my function when x is greater than 0 i have tan of 0 tan 0 is 0 and when you know my x is less than 0 i have tan of minus 0 which is nothing but minus tan 0 and tan 0 is 0 so it gives me 0 so the value of the function whether i approach it from the left hand side or the right hand side both of them will give me 0 as i go towards 0 so take something very very close to 0 so take very very close to 0 and as you approach 0 from both the sides as you approach 0 from both the sides 
your function approaches zero. So this is a continuous function. There is nothing wrong with that. The function is continuous. But when we talk about differentiability, it is not differentiable at x is equal to zero. So the function is continuous, but not differentiable because it of the involvement of the tan function. Had the question been without mod, then the function would have been differentiable also. But because simply the differentiation of tan x is 6 square x. And 6 square x evaluated at x is equal to 0 is 1. So then differentiation of tan x was possible. Then this function would have been differentiable. But when we talk about tan mod of x, because we get that kink, it becomes non-differentiable. So that is what is important here. Now, uh, the next part says, so, you know, because the function is not differentiable, f dash zero is not even possible. So this is incorrect. Now let's go ahead and evaluate the limit of the function at zero plus. So my function that I am talking about, this function is tan x, right? This is my function. Now, when I talk about this function tan x, and you're asking me to evaluate the limit of this function at 0 plus. See, it is asking you, oh, limit of the function is fx minus f0 by x. This is what you have to evaluate. fx minus f0 by x. Then this is nothing but it is equivalent to function is tan x. Evaluating x 0 plus tan x minus tan 0 upon x. Okay. So value of the function at 0, tan x, fx is nothing but tan x upon x. Tan 0 is 0. So it's like saying that I just have to evaluate this function limit x tends to 0 plus tan x by x. Now, if you directly go ahead and put the value here itself, you will get tan 0 by 0 and tan 0 by 0 is 0 by 0. It's not defined. So, please understand that because I just proved that tan x is a continuous function, x is also a continuous function. If you will find out tan x by tan by x will also be continuous. So because this is a continuous function, my limit at 0 plus will be equal to my limit at 0 minus will be equal to the function evaluated at 0. So instead of talking about 0 plus and 0 minus, I will just say limit at 0. But since I'm getting a 0 by 0 form, I can go ahead and use L'Hopital's rule here. Which says that if you get a 0 by 0 form, you should differentiate the numerator and denominator separately and then find the limit there. Differentiation of tan x is 6 square x. Differentiation of x is 1. Limit x approaches 0 plus. This is simply 6 square evaluated at 0 by 1 and 6 0 is 1. So the answer is 1. Always remember limit x tends to 0 tan x by x is 1. This is an identity we always use in maths. Okay, so this is 1, not minus 1. So this is actually incorrect. It is not equal to minus 1. The answer is 1. So we will go ahead and say that this option is incorrect. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. The only option that is correct is B. So, you know, the answer key goes ahead and says B and C, but C is incorrect. Had this been F of 0 minus Fx by X, then this would have been 0 minus 1. It would have been minus 1. But F of X minus F of 0 by X limit tends to 1, not minus 1. Okay, thank you.